Hi guys, this is Pete from Precision. How are you guys going today? Hey, listen gang, today we've got something very, very exciting. Well, at least I think it's pretty exciting anyway. We're going to show you how to do a PCB swap on a failed hard drive. And uh, it's a relatively simple exercise. Um, well, if you know what you're doing anyway. Okay, let's go and have a look. So this is the failed hard drive, and uh, this is the PCB here, and this is what we've got to swap out. But the very, very first thing that we need to do is we need to find a donor drive. Now, the donor drive has to be exactly the same type of drive, exactly the same model and exactly the same firmware. And that's the hardest part when it comes to data recovery. The hardest part is finding donor drives that are an exact match. But I think I might have one. Let's go see. Right, so I found a donor drive. So let's crack this bad boy open and get the hard drive out of it. Right, and as you can see this drive has a little bit of electronic hardware around here so we're just going to go ahead and remove all that and then hopefully we can use this PCB here it is exactly the same drive and should be exactly the same firmware we'll soon find out when we get it on there anyway righto let's go ahead and remove this hardware off here now And now we're ready to do the PCB swap. Okay, let's give it a go. Guys, uh, just a quick tip. When you're working with customers' hard drives, it is always imperative that the very, very first thing you do is you mark each drive like that so that you know who owns the drive and you don't get them mixed up. Very embarrassing when that happens. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, guys, so this is the drive with the failed PCB. So we're going to go ahead and remove that PCB off there. Uh, what you'll need is a Torx screwdriver, there's a special screw on these. And it's just a pretty simple operation, removing the screws. Looks like somebody may have already had a go at this one because there is actually a screw missing. Okay, and then the PCB pops off, just like that. As simple as that, how easy was that? Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're just going to put that over to one side and we're going to go ahead and uh, repeat the process. Now, this is the donor drive and theoretically this should be the good PCB. So we're going to go ahead and remove this PCB off this one right now as we speak. Okay, guys, so we've gone ahead and we've moved that. Uh, that's the good PCB off the good donor drive. We're going to move that off to one side now. Okay, and we're going to place that PCB onto this drive. All going well should be an exact match and I'll tell you what looks pretty close let's just try it yep that's perfect that's an exact match all right we're going to go ahead and talk that down now and then we're going to see if we've had a win <laughs> Okay, as simple as that guys, that job's done, and this drive will now work fantastic. Fingers crossed anyway. <laughs> and that's it gang. As simple as that, hey? Not too bad. Mind you, if you're not confident, you don't know what you're doing, and your data is precious and important to you, I wouldn't attempt it. I'd send it off to a dedicated data recovery lab to have that job done. Righto guys, hope you enjoyed that little tech vid today, how to change out a PCB on a... Uh, 3.5 inch hard drive. Easy as that. I'm Pete. See you next time. Love yous.